Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. This is the stove that we made yesterday. And I told you this was a drain hole, but it also is used to hold the stove to this peg to keep it from vibrating off of my fire table. And in here are the ashes that we collected from the first burn off. Let's go ahead and try to flint and steel ignite a piece of ashed paper towel. Now Wilderness Strong has found dozens of plants that would flint and steel ignite without them being charred. I have not been able to recreate that, but saturated, ashes saturated paper towels and toilet paper will take a spark from a flint and steel. And that's what I want to show you today. Take all the time you need to force this ash into these fibers through and through. It might take a couple of minutes. We'll just listen to these birds while I'm processing it. Now I don't saturate the whole paper towel because I found that usually the ignition happens just an inch or two from the steel itself. You don't want to leave too much ash on there when you get done because of course that's gonna keep the spark from being able to get to the fibers. And we'll dump some of that ash off of there. That very last spark that I made right when I was stopping happened to ignite it. Isn't that amazing? Now, it would have ignited quicker than that if I had this surface processed up finer. I hope you'll give this a try and get back with me and let me know how it worked for you. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.